Welcome from BSP Solution. My name is Amit Sharma and today I'm going to demonstrate how to create custom grouping in Tableau. So before I go through the technical details, I'll just walk you through with the requirement so that we can easily map with the requirement and solution. I have a table called product in my database and which has information about product category. So you can see I have a table called product and which contain information about product category. My business user like to see product category and consumer type. For each product category they would like to know consumer type of it. If you look at my requirement sheet over here, in the second column you see product category and third column you can see consumer type. The irony over here, consumer type column does not exist and we would like, we have to prepare this, create this column in a database. We can simply write a SQL expression and by using case statement prepare a consumer type column as it is given in my screen. You can see over here uh, I use a case statement on product category and specified over here as if it is electronic then display as kits and consumer type is kits. If it is hardware display consumer type as gentlemen otherwise consumer type is ladies. Right? We can pretty well create a SQL expression and associate consumer type along with product category. Now let's see how to do the same thing exactly in Tableau. So I'm using a desktop edition over here 8.1. It is my evaluation edition. We'll prepare a sample report and then finally publish it to our server so that everybody can access. In my system, my source is database and my query is this is what I would like to know. I like to see a product category and consumer type product sales, sales by product category and consumer type. So the first I am going to connect to the data source and data source is Oracle over here. Uh, I click on connect to data source and specify database details like server details. I click on advanced, specify server details my Oracle server installed into my local system, so I specify local host, server name, my service name is ORCL and port is default 2051. You can also see the information about these in your services. You can find out the service name and other details. In your Oracle, you see your service name is ORCL. Right. So now next step, I'll specify a credential. I'm using SH schema, SH, which ship along with Oracle and then just connect it. We need two table, one is fact called sales and one is product dimension table. So I go to multiple tables like sales and click on add and select product. So in my example, uh, sales and product has a direct join, primary key and foreign key join. So I do not have to explicitly define. The system can automatically sense the join type. You can also click on preview and ensure the data which you are fetching is correct or not. If you see you have got product details and the, in the last side you see product amount sales and other details. Right? You can also specify joining type and all. You have an option over here you can see the existing join. In case you think the join is not appropriate, it is not as per the model, you can modify the join type as left out or right out and full join. You can also change the operator as well. Well anyway, our focus area is to prepare a custom SQL, a custom grouping and it is also called as buckets. So in our previous session we discussed extensively about type of connection, connection live, import all data or import some data. Today I'm going to use connect live considering my data is so dynamic. If you look at your data source carefully you can find you have product category over here and you can also see the sales. So you can analyze your product category based on sales pretty well but we need a consumer type over here and consumer type column does not exist. So I'm going to create this consumer type column dynamically. There's an option called create calculated field and I'm going to convert my case statement as per Tableau corresponding. So I'll give a name to this called consumer type and specify expression. So we use the if condition over here. The, the if condition is a substitute of case statement in Tableau. 
I'll pick up the product category and specify expression. So as per the requirement, if product uh, category is electronics, consumer tab is kids. If product category is hardware, consumer tab is gentlemen. So I'll pick up electronics. If it is electronics, then it's kids. Else if I continue to write this expression, if product category is hardware, then ladies, then gentlemen. To make it shorter, I'm just writing two expression. Else, I put ladies. You can add a complete expression over here and and you see the green check mark appear over here with demonstrate my given expression is absolutely correct. Click OK and you see you get a computed column over here. So I can analyze product based on category. In addition to this, I can also analyze based on consumer type. So product based on product category and based on consumer type as well. This is how you can create a custom grouping. If you further like to see what query gets generated behind the screen, you can redo this example. And before you start this example, make sure you start uh, performance recording. Open a new tab and do the same exercise again. Organize your product based on consumer type. And in addition to this, I would also like to see product consumer type and product consumer category. The consumer type and product consumer category. All the information I'm doing, it is being, the SQL query is being recorded behind the screen. I can stop the performance recording and your tabloid will pop up a screen where I could see my SQL expression easily. So tabloid pop up the screen and I can compare the SQL expression I have written and the one which tabloid has generated is absolutely identical or not. This will help me to keep inside how Tableau think about my expression or my query. Well, so the final output is, look at the, the final output. You see, I can see the query cost, timeline, even sorted by time and I'm more keen to know about the query. Click on the execute query path and you see the query generated. If you compare our query, the one which we use in a database, custom query and the query which Tableau generated, you find it absolutely identical. See, select case, a product category, electronic then kids. Right, so this is how you can create a custom calculation or custom grouping. Thanks for joining today's session. If you have, still have any question, please write to us or you can visit to our site www bhpsolutions.com